Greetings my friends, Jimmer Lens here with your motion capture for Source Filmmaker tutorial. This is part 6, exporting the animation. Now we have done all of the hard work. This part is really easy and it goes really fast. But what, because we've done all the work of posing the models, saving the files, doing the bone mapping templates, all, templates and all of that stuff that we need to do, um, the part of actually linking the animation to a model is as simple as drag and drop and clicking a few checkboxes. To show you what I mean, follow along. Go ahead and start up Motion Builder. Once you've started up Motion Builder, click File, Motion File Import, and select the, the motion capture file we created in parts two and three. Once you've done that, you will see the skeleton appear. Then you're going to go and you're going to drag your character map, the one we created in the previous tutorial, onto the scene and select FBX Merge, no animation. Then you're going to expand the characters node in the navigator, drag the character onto the skeleton and say characterize, and click the biped stance. Then you're going to uh, do the same thing, drag the medic or whatever character you want to use onto the scene, select FBX Merge, no animation, uh, and then go into the character tab and select input type character, input source character, and check the active box. It really is that simple. Uh, and now, now that we've done all the work of creating these templates and these, these model mappings, it's as simple as dragging and dropping and uh, selecting a couple of items and then hitting a checkbox. And now the medic is following along with, uh, with what I did. And I'm going to turn off the bones here and I'm going to review the animation and just make sure that it's looking as good as I want it to. What you're going to find when you do motion capture this way, it's not going to be perfect. You're still going to have to do a little bit of tweaking in Source Filmmaker, but that's okay because Source Filmmaker is actually a really incredible animation tool. I gather that Motion Builder is too, although I'm not as familiar with it. Uh, but I know how to tweak the motion capture animation in Source Filmmaker, and I assume also as I gain more skill in Motion Builder, and, and as you gain more skill in Motion Builder, maybe there's some things that you can do to improve this. Uh, but anyway, it's close. It's good. It looks pretty good. There is one more step that we're going to need to take, and that is we're going to have to bake the animation to the skeleton before we send it off to Maya, and that's pretty simple. Next to the input source uh, drop down in the uh, character tab there is going to be a button that says plot character. And you're going to want to go ahead and, and click that button. And then there's a checkbox on the resulting dialog box that will say uh, smart plot. So first it'll say you want to you know, make sure you bake it to the skeleton, by the way. And then click make sure smart plot is selected. Then click OK. And we're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and just we'll play it one more time for safety's sake, although nothing should have changed. And then I'm going to select everything just by using Edit Select All. And we'll send it off to Maya. Now that's pretty simple. You can send it off to Maya via export, but I prefer, since I've got them both on the same machine, I just use Send to Maya and I say Send as New Scene. And when I do that, Maya pops open and says, Oi, I've got this new data. And uh, there it is. So I'm going to scroll out a little bit and we can see the skeleton and we can see the medic and I click play and the, uh, the medic does his thing. All right. Looks pretty good. It's actually um, faster a little bit. It seems anyway, it's crisper than it was in Motion Builder. So this looks pretty good. I like this. And uh, once we're satisfied with this and that it looks exactly right, we will go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and export this using the Valve plugins. Now remember, this won't work if you didn't start this from the Valve Source SDK batch file because the plugins won't be connected. You've got to have the Valve Source SDK plugins for this step to work. Uh, so if you don't, well, you know, go and, go and make that happen. So it's really, really easy once the plugins are working, though. You're just going to go ahead and uh, uh, you'll click the file and export all. File, export all. And from here, you're going to want to give it a name. And you'll pick a folder for it. And in the type, you're going to select Valve DMX. Remember, again, that won't show up if the plugins aren't there. You're going to give it a name. And it's important also that when you do this, that you go and you scroll down in the right-hand panel and find the, the drop-down there that says Export Type, Skeletal Animation. You want to export a skeletal animation. And that's it. We're done. 
Now we're going to import this into Source Filmmaker, and I will show you how to do that next uh, in Part 7, the last part of this tutorial series. I thank you for listening. I thank you for watching. I hope you've been getting a lot out of this. I'm Jimmer Linz, and I appreciate you watching and listening.